Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name's Charlotte and I make lots of cleaning content. I am actually a self-employed domestic cleaner and I also share my food haul and meal plan every Sunday and I try to make sure that I do lots of easy meals because I'm not the best at cooking and I just want to save as much time as possible because when you're a busy mum that's what you need, right? <laughs> so in today's video, I'm going to be sharing seven cleaning hacks to help you keep on top of the housework. Because when you are a busy mum or dad, then you just need some time saving tips to keep on top of it because it can get so overwhelming. I'm also really excited that this is a collaboration with the lovely Alina Ghost. So if you don't know Alina, I will let her introduce herself now. And then I hope that when you've watched my video, you will go over and watch hers and she'll have a further seven cleaning hacks to help you out. Hello and thank you so much for the lovely Charlotte for having me. I am Alina Ghost and I do daily mum shorts and I do two long form videos a week on YouTube as well. I am a mum to a four year old and I do loads of content, especially when it comes to clean with me's. So if you are in need of some motivation, so not only is Charlotte going to be sharing with you seven cleaning hacks in this video, but also head over to my channel and you'll find an extra seven cleaning hacks as well. So I'd love to see you there. Take care now and I'll catch you guys later. Okay, so let's get into my cleaning hacks. So if you want to grab yourself a nice cup of tea, your favorite snacks, just have a chill and watch and then go and clean afterwards, feel free to do that. Or you can clean along and just listen to my tips. <laughs> but anyway, let's get into it. So number one is clean against the clock. So I love to boil the kettle and then see what I can get done before it's boiled. So see if I can maybe unload the dishwasher or load the dishwasher or put a load of washing on. Because I find that once you are against the clock, you can get more done. I do like to set timers as well. So I might set like a 30 minute timer on the Alexa and see how much I can get done. Or sometimes I'll choose a video, like a cleaning video on YouTube to clean along to as well. Quite often I like to do a power hour because I just get so much more done when I am against the clock. Okay, so number two is mop the bathroom tiles. Now I know it's quite a simple one, but it just saves so much time. And I find cleaning the bathroom is quite a long job that I do tend to put off. Um, but yeah, if you mop your bathroom tiles, it can make it so much quicker. Okay, so number three is add essential oils to white vinegar. And I, you don't even have to add the essential oils. The reason for adding the essential oils is just to make it smell better because a lot of people don't like the smell of white vinegar. I don't mind it too much, but I do quite like adding um, lemongrass and lime essential oil at the moment. It smells amazing. Um, and white vinegar is just good for so many things. I use it all the time. I clean my bathroom with white vinegar. It gets lime scale off amazingly. It's a good stain remover. Um, it's great for making mirrors and glass really shiny. So there's so many amazing things that white vinegar is good for. I might do a whole separate video on white vinegar <laughs> because I just love it so much. It is my favorite cleaning product. But yeah, because of the smell, a lot of people don't like it. So add in essential oils and it will smell amazing. Okay, so number four is get the kids involved. So quite often I'll set Mila and Jack jobs to do and if they're really not in the mood for helping out which a lot of the time they're not then I'll give them an incentive so we have got a pom-pom jar so it's just a jar that they when they do something good they get a pom-pom in it or quite often we struggle with getting ready in the morning or getting ready for bed then if they're good during that time they get a pom-pom in their jar and then once they fill the jar up they get a treat but most recently they have been really interested in getting money in their little money pot in their room. Um, so recently I've given them just like 20p to put their clothes away. And that just saves me a job because I just hate putting clothes away for some reason. And I think when, when it's everyone's clothes and we've got so much, it builds up and I just put it off because it's going to take me ages. But if they can put their clothes away themselves and I just give them 20p each to put in their jar. 
then they're happy. They're putting their clothes away. I can put mine away at the same time. And it's just so much quicker. Okay, so number five is to clean the bathroom while the kids are in the bath. Now, obviously you can't do the whole bathroom while they're in there, but I tend to do like the sink, the mirror, the shelves, uh, the toilet while they're in the bath. And then once they are in bed, then sometimes, not all the time, <laughs> but I'll go and then clean the tiles and the bath afterwards. Um, it's just, I need to stay in the bathroom when they're in the bath and they, I'm not just washing them. <laughs> like I help them wash their hair um, and then, you know, they'll wash themselves and they'll play and I'll just be sat there on my phone waiting for them because they want to have a play um, when I could be cleaning or organising. Sometimes I might organise the bathroom cupboard while I'm in there. So it's just, I think it's, it's a good idea to, I think it's called habit stacking, um, which I'm trying to do more. So once you, when you're doing something that you do all the time, add something in that you need to try and do more. So obviously I give the kids a bath. Well, not every day, every other day normally. Um, so I can do something productive during that time, like cleaning the bathroom or organising a cupboard. So I just think, yeah, I think that's a good idea. And hopefully <laughs> you'll think that's a good idea too. And let me know as well if you think any of these are good, if you already do them, if you've got any other ideas and we can all have a look in the comments. Um, but we're not done yet. What number was I on? <laughs> okay, so number six is invest in some cleaning gadgets to make it easier and more fun too. I recently had a birthday and I got quite a few cleaning gadgets because I couldn't think of anything else that I really wanted. So yeah, I got a steam cleaner, which is amazing. So I'm probably going to do lots of steam cleaning videos soon. I've already done a couple of short ones, which I'm not sure if I've uploaded to YouTube yet because I do put a lot more on my Instagram. Need to make sure I put them on YouTube too. Um, so yeah, I got a steam cleaner, um, a scrubbing brush and it's got like a squeegee thing on it as well. That'd be quite good for cleaning bathroom tiles to give them like a deep clean. Um, oh, I also got a window vacuum, which I love. It's so amazing. Um, so I find that when I've got like a cool cleaning gadget to use, I'm more motivated to get it done because it's going to be more fun. And also it does make it quicker and easier too. Okay, and my last hack, number seven, is when you get in the door, like after the school run, don't just put all the shoes, coats, bags, everything on the floor. I used to do this all the time, and then it just gives me an extra job to do later. If we just all put our shoes away, hang our coats up, put our bags away straight away, that's just done and out of the way rather than putting it all down, like in the hallway, in the way, and then later on having to then pick it all up and put it away. Just put it away straight away, it's done, out of the way. And then also, before you sit down, I like to have a coffee and sit down, just relax after the, the manic school run. Um, but before I do that, I try to make sure that any jobs that I need to get done, I do them first before I sit down, because if I sit down, it's gonna take me ages to get back up again. <laughs> so if I need to like do the dishwasher, or if I need to hang some washing, put some clothes away, sweep the floor, what, whatever it is, I just need to get that done before I sit down. Because once I'm sitting down with my coffee, it's going to take me ages to get back up and then I'm going to need to go and cook dinner. So yeah, just try and get it all done before you sit down. Okay, so that is my seven cleaning hacks. I hope that you find them useful. Please do let me know in the comments um, what you thought of them or if you've got any other tips we can also get some more ideas in the comments that would be great and now I really hope that you will go over to Alina's channel to find out what her cleaning hacks are and if you have come over from Alina's channel to mine thank you so much I really hope that you've enjoyed it and you will stick around and subscribe and I will see you all really soon in my next video bye